Hey guys, what's up? It's Crispy. Guess what? <laughs> this fucking game. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. This is Power Rangers, the fighting edition. We're gonna do the story mode. And I'm just kind of fucking around, because this is like the coolest game. I want to start with the Thunder Megazord. I know everyone likes the White Ranger, but I love the Thunder Megazord, because it has the Sword of Death. Let's watch the, the best animation in all video games, which is the Power Rangers going into Zord mode with the Thunder Zords. Oh, that whole arc was great. Look at that guy, fighting on his own. How many times do we actually see the Red Fighters animation other than to turn into Thunder Zord? Oh, yes. <laughs> the best thing. So, not a lot of people play this game for some fucking reason. But this is just a fighting game. This is the Power Rangers, the fighting edition, and it is a fighter. There's Zordon in the background cheering us on. And I'm just gonna do my best to kill everything. This game is not the most complicated game in the whole history of the Earth. It is just a stab, kill, be good at your character kind of thing. It has been fucking years since I've played this, so I'm probably going to lose at some point. <laughs> but I'm just kind of playing until I lose. This is going to be, uh, this is more of a question video than anything. It's just a, uh, what should I play next? What do you guys think? I'm thinking that, um, because... Not next, I shouldn't say next. I should put this up to a vote eventually. And I figured I'd do a video video asking the general populace while I murder my fellow Zords. Who's next in this game? I don't remember after this. Oh, lipstick, lip sinker. <laughs> One of the bad guys, all right, cool. So yeah, basically I already know what game I'm gonna play directly next. And it's kind of a breather game because dudes, my friends, my my people, I don't know if you know this, but we spent three months playing Pokemon. Ow. And Pokemon took three, I'm just going to say that again, three months of Pokemon. That is a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> So I'm probably going to play, you know, something kind of chill and platformy, just to get it out of my system. But then I want some opinions, see what's up. I won't do a secret poll like last time, I'll do an actual name the video game, tell people what I'm looking for poll. Ooh, kicked in the face, that is not a good look for anyone involved. Come on. But uh, yeah. That is most of the thought process that's going into that one right now. Punched in the bottoms. How dare I live. Yes! <laughs> yeah, like I said, this isn't that hard of a game. You just kind of fucking go after it. There's no, like, Tekken strategizing. There's also... Cutscenes! <laughs> the best cutscenes. Hmm. I love this game. I'm just going to... Just talk about this game for a while. Look at the Ninja Megazord. So this game came out after, like, most of the movies and most of the TV show original series. Like, came out in 95, pretty close, if I remember correctly, to the end of the SNES life cycle. But that might be me misremembering. But I'm pretty sure that's close, because I think some of the first uh, N64 games were coming out in 96. Like, Star Fox and stuff, if I remember correctly. But it's been a fucking while. It is 2016, you know? <laughs> oh. Yes. Eat a dick. I don't remember how to throw. And I don't really remember how to block either. I'm just kind of attacking. Oh, I found out how to block. It's that button. <laughs> I wonder if you can throw. Well, I am costing myself life finding out, so let's not. Excuse you, sir. I prefer your end come now. Oh. Yep, punch in the face. Whoop. Oh, back is blocked, by the way. <laughs> Found it. You sure did. Multiple entendre. Alright, kill him. Come on. Kill him dead. Charging punch. Best punch. Oh, he's blocking better. He's seeing me coming. There he goes. I like how there's, like, you know, so far it's Zord, bad guy. 
Zord. You're gonna be a bad guy? Shogun! I forgot about you. Shogun Megazord. He was in the original series for like, I don't know, six episodes after the real Rangers got their dicks kicked in by somebody. I don't remember what happened. But he is a fucking behemoth. Can't move for shit. But God, is he strong. He's got this giant doom sword. I don't even know if he'll bring it out. Bring it out! Bring out the doom sword! Show me the truth! Ah! He won't do it. He's too... too strong. Whoop. He's not bringing it out. How dare I? Nope. Oh! You can grab! I just don't remember how. Ooh! Combos! He's got jumps! How dare you! I'm all about just dashing in and destroying, like, hoot down. Bam! That's all I do in this game, is back up, dash, hit. <laughs> it usually works. Oh, there it is! But it wasn't the flame sword. If he does the down strike, it's this big flaming death sword of ridiculousness, and I love it. Like, look at this. This thing is li oh, sword. This thing is literally, like, 700 times bigger. Than like a, a standard skyscraper. There's the Doom Sword. That's right. Show me your power. Show me your moves. Oop. Not blocking that sword. Or that one. Or that one. Fool. Get staggered. I don't know if this game is complicated enough to have a stagger mechanic. Probably not. See, he's strong enough that he looks like he's blocking when I'm doing that, but the, the sound effects tell me differently. See, that was a block. <laughs> his block animation and his hit animation are the same. Kind of confusing. What a dead Megazord. Cornered, murdered, it's all good. We don't we don't get the animation for fighting our friends. Look at this guy. Silver horns. He like does the alien thing and spits an eyeball out of his face. He also teleports, because he's a jerk. And jerks get beat down in this game. Sliced up, wrecked, and destroyed. Get him. Get in. Wish I could remember how to throw. I don't know. There it is. I found it. <laughs> nice. New move. Throw the dude. Ouch. Flaming death sickle. Not happy about it. Puts up much less of a fight than the Shogun Megazord. Round two! Whoop! Excuse me, sir. Bam! But yeah, that was the gist of it. Like, I was gonna make this a short video, but now I'm just having too much fun. So, all things must die until I die. And once I die, I will not continue. I will accept my defeat at the hands of whoever. And everything will be fine. Man, it really does not want me to do forward A. Like... They don't want me to jump forward, ever. I think I might need to adjust my controls to allow that. Oh, but first, ninja ass cutscene. Boom! Dead man. The world is saved. Thanks to essentially, oh. Dark Thunder Zord. <laughs> that sh I wonder if that was a plot point. I don't remember the original Power Rangers well enough to remember if that was a plot point or not. But if it wasn't, they missed an opportunity, because Dark Thunderzords would be rad. <laughs> also, your color scheme person needs some work, because if you were really the Dark Me, you'd have silver filigree to go with your purple, instead of gold, black, and randomly red as purple. <laughs> you fool. Understand the basics of color. I really don't. I'm probably, like, getting that all wrong. I am no artiste. I leave that to my art friends who do art stuff, and I don't. I'm only, you know, marginally kind of okay sometimes at drawing once in a while. Whereas my friends, you know, I have some friends who do that shit for a goddamn living because they're really good at it. Whoop. Come on, stab him. Meanwhile, this is what I do with my free time. <laughs> I play video games. Video games that have been out since, like, God. What was that, 11 years now? Yeah, no, 21 years. Oh, fuck me, it hurts to remember that. 21 years ago, this game came out, everyone. That shows you how old I am. 
mistaking this game for something that came out 15 years, you know, 11 years ago. Fucking Goldar. Second in command to uh, Rita Repulsa. Also has that cheap ass dive dash, which is the worst thing. Especially when you have trouble using back and forth. Excuse me, sir. I slice, you die. These are the rules of engagement. Yeah, figure that out. Boom! Countered. What's up? Throne, Goldar. I always thought Goldar's design was really fucking cool. It's basically a play on the, like... He just looks like a play on a trope. You know what I mean? He looks like he would be, like, the superhero somewhere. He's not. He is the bad guy. Hence the wolf face. But man, would he make a cool enemy in, like, Dark Souls or something. No, you don't. Nope. Not today, dude. Can I throw him? Yes, I can. Oh, man. Throws are devastating in this game. So are swords. Swords are really strong. Nope. Just out of my reach. Punch! <laughs> Just... Nope. Done. Goldar. Dead. Anything else? Goldar never blows up. He just runs away. Did I ultimate kill him because we're in the fighting edition? Oh shit. Lord Zed, we're not even fighting Rita. It's time for Zed. Look at that dragon. The coolest dragon. Oh, and he does crazy teleport shenanigans and he blocks a lot. Lord Zed, kind of a jerk. Really annoying. Has teleport lightning bolts. Defeat these by throwing him. Also, his quick attacks always lead into some, like, three-part doom assault, which sucks. Also, he can do that. Like I said, teleporting, not cool. That's when you actually have to start getting fast, is when he starts... Like, the three-way teleport, that's not easy to counter. Get murked. 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 Yes. Thrown. Ooh. Ow. See that? Look at that. Fast. Ooh, he had a special going. I do not remember how to do those, but they exist. Doesn't matter. I threw him on the ground and he's dead. Dead Lord Zed. No more. Super dead Lord Zed. Oh, shit. Dawin Shoppa. No, Ivan Ooze. He's got invincibility hacks that are not fun. Like when he's flashing like that, can't hit him. So you have to get your hits in whenever he's not doing that. Block when that happens. Also, he starts countering. Oop. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Like that. So you just kind of get your hits in as you can. And he'll start to try to rush you. See, look at that. Look at that pressure. Whoop. Uh. Yes! Jumping slice. Good. Okay. So he will put pressure on. Meanwhile, you just gotta be smart and basically stay out inside of his inside hitbox. Because his attacks are fast and kind of strong. And when they hit, they have serious knockback. Like that. That thing, if I remember correctly, launches you across the screen. Only one, only character in the game with a launch that goes full screen. And I, if I remember right, you can't grab him. Yeah, you can't grab him. I just went for a grab there, and it did nothing. Blocked. He's being awfully nice today. Oh, he's got super mode. His super mode is just a, an advanced version of his normal homing attack, so ignore it. I'll do that, and murdered. Oh, murdered. <laughs> Also, his hitbox is tricky. Hit him in the face. And he will start on fire and explode with the fury of a thousand oozes. But the dragon's fine, don't worry. It's a good dragon. We like it. <laughs> and that's the game! More phenomenal! Yeah! White Ranger, you weren't even in this game. I beat you first. Go, go, Power Rangers. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the whole game. You, you can be a bunch of people if you're not playing story mode. 
But that's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Fighting Edition, one of the coolest games ever invented for human consumption ever. This is crispy. I played this game. Let's figure out what to play later on. I'll put up a real poll. But just be amazed by dragons and robots. And goddammit, this is good stuff. I love this game. See you guys next time.